What's up everybody? What the hell is going on? Off work early today, so we are going to get started on Bruce Digo again. Uh, I think today we're going to continue with weight reduction. So here we go. First thing we're going to get rid of is this crash bar. It's got three 13 millimeter bolts, or nuts, I'm sorry, one on top and one on either side of the frame rail on each side that we need to take off so let's get those off and get this thing pulled off here all right ta-da now we'll go ahead and take the windshield washer fluid tank off that's awesome Go ahead and plug that back in for now. I'll go ahead and undo the plug. And then we've got these uh, little plastic things holding it on. Two on top. And then looks like there's a couple at the bottom as well. So we'll go ahead and get the tank pulled off here. Alright, we've got the crash bar and the uh, windshield washer tank removed. Now we'll come here into the engine bay, get the power steering pump reservoir and the ABS removed. So I've got the brake lines undone from the ABS. Then over here on the wiring, you got this white tab that just pulls out. The wiring harness comes right off. Then on the bracket, you got four 10 millimeter nuts on each side to take off, and that should all just come right off. Maybe. So, underneath the power steering pump bracket, you got four more half inch nuts to take off, and the bracket for the ABS will come off. So with all four studs removed, comes right off. What I'm going to do with the brake lines is I'm just going to get a proportioning valve to run all my lines. All these lines are looking pretty shot, so I'm going to replace them all. And then as far as the power steering reservoir goes, I'm just going to leave that intact for right now because I think I can mount that pretty cleanly on the motor plate once I get it installed. But that may change, I don't know yet. For now it's gonna stay though. Next what I'm gonna do is remove both the windshield wiper arms and after getting this mess cleaned up off the cow, I'm gonna remove the plastic cow piece and we are going to cut the cow. Windshield wa wiper arms and cow panel is removed. Um, it wasn't too awful bad. The windshield wiper arms, obviously you undo the nut and then I just moved them back and forth to break them loose a little bit and I was able to work them off. Um, it was a little time consuming without the tool but it came off okay it didn't take too awful long so next I'm gonna go through and uh, mark the cow and start cutting now the driver's side windshield wiper I do want to drive this um, occasionally for like race for the various race weeks so I want to keep at least the driver's side windshield wiper intact but the passenger side is gonna have to go So we'll start off by taking off the passenger side windshield wiper arm. Um, looks like it's going to be three 10 millimeter bolts.
there it is guys we got the initial cut done i'm gonna leave um this here for right now because i may figure out a way to put it in a passenger side windshield wiper um if not i can cut it off later i saw i got a lot of cleanup to do on the cut and that's fine and then i'll come in and weld in a patch panel to cover all that up and I still need to put it in a patch panel where we did the HVAC delete. But I'm going to leave that. Leave it alone for right now. Um, because I want to start mocking up engines. That's going to pretty much wrap up today's video guys. Um, I'm going to try to put out one more video before this coming weekend. Um, this weekend, No Prep Kings, Kings is coming to town on Friday and Saturday at National Trails Raceway. So me and my son will be attending that. So I'm planning on um, doing coverage of the event. So I'll have two videos coming up. Um, the first one probably Saturday night and the next one Sunday covering that event. And hopefully one more uh, video on Bruce Digo this week. If you haven't already, please comment, like, subscribe to the channel. Um, every like and subscribe counts. I, I appreciate everybody who does watch these videos and every, everybody who has subscribed. We'll talk to you next time. See ya.